Hi everyone. I have been meaning to get this footage done for a while now. I've been on vacation in another province uh, visiting my parents with my kids for a little while so I haven't had the chance to get it done yet. I was originally challenged by Mark and Pam over at Joys to Life to do this About Me challenge and then just recently by Jessica from Chubby Girl Gone to do this. So I've got seven questions. The challenge was originally done by Romeo over at Amateur Fitness by Spider and so I'll get right into it. And I'd already washed my face for the day so I've got no makeup on but I did go ahead and put some lip gloss on for you so you're welcome let's get started so the first question is what is your name and nickname so my name is Kelly and the only nickname that I could really think of was when I was little Kelly belly is what I was called when I was little I was born with the spelling K-E-L-Y and I tried K-E-L-E-Y, and then settled on K-E-L-L-I-E, -L -L -E, just because I felt it had a little bit more flair. Uh, I've never legally changed it, but when I filled out my application to get my driver's license, I put I-E on the application, and he didn't double check it against my birth certificate, so he issued my driver's license with K-E-L-I-E -E instead of Y, so that's how I secured the I-E situation. Question two, how old are you? So you might remember from my previous videos, if you saw them, I just turned 40 eight days ago and I still don't feel like I'm 40. So I feel like I'm 25 and hopefully that'll last for a while. Where are you from? So I was born in Kentville, Nova Scotia and have spent half my life in Nova Scotia and half my life in Alberta. And I've moved back and forth. For those of you that aren't familiar with Canadian provinces, One's on the very east side, near Maine and New York and things like that. And then Alberta is directly above, like Montana and Idaho. And so back and forth between the two, but I am originally from Nova Scotia. And what was your starting weight and your current weight and your height? So my starting weight or my highest weight was 275 pounds. I was at that weight shortly after the birth of my first child, my son, as well as um, going back up to that seemed to be my cap out weight in 2016, March of 2016. Um, my current weight is 219 and my height is five and three and three quarters, but I just say five, four. My goal weight ultimately will be 145 pounds. That's the highest cap off of what's considered healthy for my height. So I thought that would be a reasonable goal, but I first wanna get down to the lowest weight that I've reached recently, which was in March of 2011 when I got down to 162. I'll hit that first and then hopefully go down to 145 and see how things are at that weight. So question number six is, when and why did you start your weight loss journey? The first time I went through and lost over 100 pounds, um, it was really because of a picture that I had finally seen of myself that I just mentally didn't realize that that's how big I'd gotten. I rushed right through and finalized the last 35 pounds or so with a competition that had a big cash prize. Uh, so that was my motivation and I, I did win that competition but hadn't sorted out any of my mental and emotional demons and so the weight quickly came back on. And this time around it was more so for making sure that I could maintain a certain level of health as I'm getting older. Um, there's a lot of history of health issues in my family. Uh, my mother is currently in stage five kidney failure and has a lot of problems with high blood pressure and has issues with her eyesight due to having diabetes for over 30 years. So I want to, at this point in my life, now that I've turned 40, be able to hopefully avoid having serious issues like that. I'm not sure if I've left it too long. I'm hoping not, but 
that's what my primary goal this time around is more so for health rather than looking a certain way but to have physical mental emotional and spiritual health and what is one thing that you love about your hometown? This is a question I had a problem with because I'm not too sure what to consider my hometown because I've lived in so many different places. And the city that I'm living in now, in St. John, New Brunswick, I've only lived there for a couple of years. So I would say I'm going to choose Halifax, Nova Scotia. That's where I spent a lot of my years in my early 20s. And that's where I was married and that's where I lived before we moved out west again. The thing that I like the most about Halifax is um, the people that I was able to meet there. Uh, I'm a member of the LDS Church, so I went to a congregation that was called Young Single Adults, or a YSA congregation, and just a lot of really, really fun times with those people. I'm friends with them to this day, you know, even though we're all living in different areas all over the world. Thank goodness to Facebook. So yeah, it was definitely the people and the friendships that I was able to make there and, uh, you know, friendships that I know will stand the test of time. The people that I am going to issue this challenge to are Kelly from Fat to Vegan and Being Thai. So I will link their information below and let them know that they've been challenged so that we can find a little bit more about them. I'm home now, obviously. And I went back and I reviewed the questions and I realized that I was supposed to tag three people. So uh, the third person that I'll tag is Paula today. And I also found out that the question about my hometown was supposed to be something that a tourist would enjoy. So for Halifax, I'm going to say Spring Garden Road and for an attraction that you can do, uh, it's the Harbor Hopper. And it's a, it gives you a little tour around the city and it's also an amphibious vehicle, so it'll go into the water and it'll give you a tour of the harbor. So that's pretty fun. So I'm really grateful that I had the opportunity to go through these questions and share with you guys a little bit more about myself and things that you might not really have the opportunity to organically find out. And uh, you guys take care and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Okay, bye.